The most beautiful, the most mysterious, and the most legendary pearl in history is known to us under the name Peregrina. It has traveled the world, changed owners, stirred the minds of emperors and their wives, been in the hands of women and men we continue to talk about even after their deaths, and has become even more famous thanks to Elizabeth Taylor. Today I will tell you this unique story, shrouded in mystery and legend, spanning 500 years. Indeed, Peregrina is considered the most famous natural pearl in history, a true star among pearls. Before we start, please support my channel by clicking the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you. Peregrina is pear-shaped and was therefore always intended to be pendant in a necklace. The discovery of this natural wonder dates back to a time when the craft of pearl fishing was extremely dangerous and took place mainly off the coast of Japan, the Persian Gulf, and the Caribbean. It would be centuries until pearls would begin to be cultured by planting a foreign body in a mollusk. Finding pearls in an oyster was not easy. In nature, it happens once in 10,000 shells caught. Peregrina was one of them, and is believed to have been found in the 16th century in an oyster caught off the Gulf of Panama by an African slave who, according to legend, was given his freedom for it. Around the same time and in the same place, another similarly pear-shaped but smaller pearl was caught, which was almost identically named, the Pellegrina. The name of both was in Spanish, because Panama was a Spanish colony at the time and remained so until 1821. The name Peregrina correlates with the word pilgrim, or more simply, wanderer. So, our pearl begins its wanderings around the world. Don Pedro de Teams, the governor of Panama, sent Peregrina as a gift to King Philip II of Spain, and the gem became part of the treasury of the Spanish crown. Since then, Peregrina has appeared in some portraits of queens, notably those of Mary the First Tudor, known as Bloody Mary, who received it as an engagement gift from King Philip II of Spain in 1554. When Queen Mary died in 1558, the pearl was returned to Spain and remained there for over 250 years. The last ruler to wear it was Maria Anna of Austria, pledged at age 11 to her cousin in Spain, Philip IV, whom she married at age 14. In 1808, Napoleon Bonaparte put his brother Joseph Bonaparte on the Spanish throne. And when the latter was forced to leave in 1813 and return to France, he took some of the Spanish crown jewels, including the Peregrina. The pearl was then inherited by Napoleon III, the emperor, who sold the pearl to England. The pearl weighs 50.06 carats in England, he sold the peregrine to James Hamilton, Duke of Abercorn, who gave it to his wife Louise, and the pearl was not heard of until February 1969, when it was auctioned in New York. According to Christie's Auction House records the full list of owners is Philip II, Philip III, Philip IV, Charles II, Philip V, Fernando VI, Charles III, Carlos IV, Joseph Bonaparte, of France, Prince Louise Napoleon, of France, Duke and Duchess of Abercorn, Elizabeth Taylor. So, at the time of the 1969 auction, only two bidders were the main contenders for the right to own the pearl. One was the Hollywood actor Richard Burton. The original setting in which Richard Burton purchased the Peregrina, the pearl hung from a chain of fine pearls and platinum. He offered $37,000 for the pearl, which more or less corresponds to today's 278,000 euros. Burton wanted to present the pearl to Elizabeth Taylor, who was turning 37 and loved jewelry, so much so that Burton joked with friends that the only word his wife knew in Italian was Bulgari. According to other information, it was a Valentine's Day gift. As a result, Liz received the pearl as a gift at Kieser's Palace Hotel in New York City. Years later, in her book Elizabeth Taylor, my love affair with jewelry. She described how it went down. She wanted to jump on Richard's neck and kiss him, but Burton was in a strange mood. So Liz kept silent, not expressing her happiness and delight. Trying to find the right moment, she noticed at one point that she had lost a pearl in the room. She didn't dare tell Richard about it and wandered around the room barefoot, 
and then on all fours, looking for it on the carpet until she noticed one of their two Pekingese chewing on something. Fortunately, when she opened the dog's mouth, the dog had not yet swallowed or scratched Precious Peregrina. The actress set the pearl on a double row necklace she designed with Cartier, inspired by a portrait of Mary Tudor. Cartier sketch, 1972. The result was a platinum necklace of cultured pearls, diamonds and rubies with a detachable pendant that turned into a brooch. The film Deva wore the necklace in two films, 1969's 1000 Days of Anna and 1973's Divorce Him, Divorce Her. Taylor was enchanted by the pearl. In her jewelry memoir, she wrote, I loved putting the necklace around my neck and feeling it dangle. The pearl was so pleasant to the touch that I couldn't stop touching it. Meanwhile, Burton was also fascinated by the pearl, so much so that he began thinking about writing a film about the story, a project that was never completed. He also tried to buy a portrait that depicted Bloody Mary with the pearl 400 years ago, but in the end, he only facilitated the purchase of the portrait by the National Trust for Art Collections. In the last years of her life, Taylor occasionally loaned Peregrina for special exhibitions, clearly recognizing the historical importance of the piece. It first went on public display at a Christie's auction in 2002 to coincide with the publication of My Love of Jewelry, and then exhibited again at the Smithsonian Institution in 2005 as part of the special exhibition, The Allure of Pearls. Elizabeth Taylor had the pearl until her death. She passed away in March 2011. The final chord of Peregrina's long history occurs at Christie's Auction House in New York when it was put up for sale in December 2011 with a starting price of $3 million. The mystery buyer who got her shelled out $11,842,500. No one knows who he is or where he took it, but rumor has it that he hails from Arab countries. Since then, no one else knows anything more about Peregrina, who has never been seen in public again. Pearl has many more secrets not told in this review. There is a separate book devoted to them, translated into several languages, who knows, perhaps we will see or hear about Peregrina again someday, and she will still see the light on someone's beautiful neck. Thank you for watching this video. Share your impressions in the comments and support our channel by subscribing and liking. Thank you.